Do you think a person has the right to die? The debate around euthanasia has never stopped, and the increasing legalization worldwide makes it important to understand related attitudes and practices. Today, we would like to examine this topic through the scope of political science, ethics, and sociology. From basketball player to trainer to sportscaster, 85-year-old Fu Da-ren has lived a full, colorful life. Over a year, Fu has gradually had his gallbladder and half of his stomach removed. His pancreatic cancer returned, and over six months, he quickly lost 16 kilograms. Doctors say he has only a few months to live. Throughout his illness, Fu has continued to agree to interviews discussing legislation on euthanasia. Each time he appears for the public, he must have an injection to keep up his stamina. Still, Fu has not stopped with his calls for a law on euthanasia. Proponents of euthanasia want to look for a way of dying that lessens pain. But the word euthanasia alone is enough to spark unease and division in Taiwan society. The right to live and the right to make one's own decisions are key points in the debate over euthanasia. In Taiwan, there has not yet been any move on the issue, and Taiwanese law does not include a definition of euthanasia either. In the medical field, though, the topic is full of controversy. Tsai Fu Chang says that even in countries that have legalized euthanasia, levels of public support and opposition are close, showing the difficulty of dealing with the issue. In Taiwan, a group of people with rare diseases has banded together to demand lawmakers legalize euthanasia. She graduated from her university's law department, but was then unable to do anything. The only sense of accomplishment she has felt came from her stint working as an intern for the foreign ministry. She says her greatest disappointment is having nothing to look forward to in life. Most of this interview was conducted in silence. Damage to her nerves has left her only able to communicate through writing. Thirty-eight-year-old Chen Honghua used to always go out in heels, something that is difficult to imagine now. So 
she understands that her life from here on will involve a gradual atrophying. This process has left her to become unwilling to eat. Chun began to follow the issue of euthanasia after a period in which she was confined to a sickbed and unable to care for herself. She hopes Taiwan will pass legislation legalizing euthanasia. How should society respond to this? She is very aware of what will happen in the future. She is very clear about what will happen in the future. When she decides to make a decision to make a decision, we don't have the power of the government. We need to think about how they 他们如果真的走到了他们所谓的绝境，他们会做什么样的事情？其实有时候那个你想起来会真的觉得很难过的。问题如果已经在社会很多角落存在了，为什么不是我们的国家审慎思考以后来帮忙这样的家庭，而要让他们的照顾者去承担可能像杀人罪、加工自杀 ？So what is euthanasia, and can it really bring people peace? 吃下去一分半到三分，一点都不痛，睡着了，这叫安乐死。那些药物其实不外乎就是一些麻醉，啊，让他不会痛苦。然后呢，就是那种比较早的那种安眠嗜睡，啊的药物。那同时他会呼吸抑制。This is the technical side of things, but euthanasia is not only tied up in questions about autonomy; it also involves a patient's family. Many of the proponents of euthanasia are lonely. This proponent's room has been their entire world for 21 years, and a computer their only connection to the world outside. At the age of 16, a car accident damaged Wen's spine. Wen has been in bed ever since. Though still young, Wen has already considered euthanasia and has even written several times to the presidential office. For a low-income household, the cost of paying a caretaker each month is high, and one feels a burden of guilt about this. My father is seventy-two. He, because I was hurt, has no own life. I don't want to continue. However, for Wen's father, euthanasia is a topic that is off limits. Will leave a lot, a lot, a lot of questions. Is it my fault? Did I do something wrong? So my family chose this way to leave? Or is he afraid of the burden of burden? But I'm not afraid of the burden. Why would he do this? Or is he saying that he will do this? I agree with him, but why would he not tell me? He won't give me enough time to talk about it. He won't give me enough time to talk about it. Even after the family has talked things over and come to an agreement, facing the actual procedure doesn't get easier. Not long after saying this, Fu Da Ren went with his family to Switzerland. He not only became a member of Dignitas, but also got the okay to go ahead with his euthanasia procedure at any time. A single picture captures the difficulty of facing this decision. So 
Jie Wanting, who works on the front line caring for and easing pain of patients and relatives, says that facing death is something that needs to be discussed early. Fu's family has held a memorial ceremony while he is still alive. The family tries to voice its support and unwillingness to part, but has to stop as the tears come. There's no turning back the tide when it comes to the discussion of euthanasia in Taiwan. Taiwan society will need careful reflection in order for this debate to reach its conclusion. Thank <laughs> you.